Hi everybody. Um, August the 14th, Friday. Um, this is my attempt at a Lakethos, Greek style, ancient Greek style Lakethos jug. Um, yeah, <laughs> once again folks, not much careful planning went into this. It's going to be too big for the kiln. Uh, I did actually throw a pedestal foot for it because the image I've got of one tapers in quite a lot at the base. Um, my kiln's 19 inches square. This is 22 and a bit tall. It's probably the tallest form I've made to date actually. Uh, <clears throat> so I may have to fire it on an angle <laughs> in the kiln when it comes to it. Um, yeah, so that could be interesting. These are dried out nicely now, ready for bisque firing tomorrow. Running low on clay again, so I'm just making a few smaller pieces. These tea light holders. Um, one or two more gnomes. Uh, some small heart-shaped cream jugs. Nice and easy, no handles. <laughs> um, a bit of a bisque firing I unloaded yesterday or the day before, no, day before. The other one of these didn't make it, folks. The base blew up. <laughs> Here's those little egg holder things that I was showing you. So I'm looking forward to seeing how these work. Maybe this is just going to be big enough to put your, your egg shell in. We'll have to wait and see. This uh, red iron oxide slit, that's going to have my nuka over the top. That's my sake set with the warmer without the Top section, a few scratch decorated decanters, I want to say a few, there's a couple of those, uh, some fluted mugs, I'm looking forward to seeing how these turn out with a clear glaze. It's just thick black slip um, that I mixed a bit of cobalt in with and then I spatulaed some feldspar on as well. So <laughs> see what they turn out like with a clear glaze. I've got some um, materials delivered this morning. Um, this is to try an oxidization glaze, a uh, Chun Celadon Cone 6. Um, I'm not sure that I'll be able to get a gas kiln to fire in oxidization um, purely because it's just a, a naked flame. Um, but I'm going to try it anyway, keep it out of reduction and just see how it turns out. There's that uh, Chun one and a rust red cone six. Um, yeah, no under glaze. <laughs> it didn't turn up. Um, so yeah, I've got that bit of clay left there. And these lumps here, so I'm just throwing some toothbrush holders. Um, something I've never thrown before. Well, not this style anyway. Um, these are obviously going to have holes cut out for you to drop your toothbrush in and sit the base of the toothbrush in that there and your toothpaste tube in there. Um, so yeah, I'll have another go at one of those folks. Not particularly exciting, but as I say, if I'm running low on clay, so I'm trying to make a few small things. These are just a, a pound of clay. I did throw some uh, novelty ones a couple of years ago. I got the idea from John from Pottery Works. Fortunately, he doesn't seem to upload clips anymore. They're like monsters with their tongs hanging out and they're amazing. Um, so I made a batch of those and they all sold. I've actually still got one upstairs. I should have brought it down, folks. The kids, the kids collared one. <laughs> I thought they would have done. Play out the bag, it's that soft. I've put it on the wall outside to try and stiffen it up a little bit. Checking the camera, it keeps deciding to stop filming. I 
was uh, looking on a certain website this morning that um, imported pottery wheels, I think they're from China. Uh, seems to be so many listed at the moment and they're so cheap. I wonder if anybody's got any experience with them. I've googled it, uh, not googled, sorry, I've looked on YouTube and <laughs> one video that the, the person can't even switch it on, but then there's another one of somebody turning theirs on and it sounded okay. I thought maybe for smaller forms. might be worth investing. It's roughly the same price I paid for my fibre board. <laughs> so, yeah, makes you wonder folks with them being so cheap whether they'd only last a, a week or so. They're not no named brand or make from what I can see. <clears throat> So the base of your toothbrush sit in that little ledge. Let that out a little bit more. And we'll bring this over enough to put some holes in. I love this wheel folks, don't get me wrong, I'm really sick of the stool. <laughs> it would just be nice to be able to, to sit down and settle at a wheel um, instead of how I do it by centering, standing up and then, then taking a seat and I never feel particularly safe on this stool. I actually cut one leg off of it so I could get it up to my wheel. Show you that in a second, folks. I think I've already shown you actually. So it has slipped from under me a few times. And just to get the right height, this the seat of the stool is actually on little pieces of wood. Just to, to have raised it up a little bit. In that a little bit more. I'm trying to imagine the toothbrush dropping through there and making sure it goes in that part there. I may make a couple more and take the backs off so they can go up against the wall. Ethos is um, I threw that in three parts. There's that anyway, folks. <laughs> yeah, this one I I flattened the back, made a bit of a mess of it down here, so I, I cut it off completely. Um, I'm just wondering whether or not to block these these off, so any water doesn't run down the wall. So that will have a hole in there. Um, yeah, it's uh, two, three pound lumps of clay joined about here somewhere. And then this top section was put on last of all. <coughs> so, yeah, that's it. Toothbrush holders for now, folks. <laughs> okay, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.